So hello guys welcome back to the channel in this video we'll cover this amazing lab so first of all you have to just click on start lab and open the console and cognito window now if you are completely new to this channel do like the video and subscribe the channel and let's get started so first thing just open the console in cognito window Here basically you have to just activate the cloud shell next to the Gemini icon we have to activate the cloud shell okay also we have to just open the document AI API sorry document AI so just click on the activate cloud shell and then the search box just type document space AI and just select this one now wait for the cloud shell to get activated basically here you have to just click on continue and then just authorize yourself so just stay tuned I am showing you how you have to do Now simply come to the lab instructions and just we have to just first of all enable the API so run this command over here and after that we have to install some of the requirement files so for that again come back again to the lab instructions and just run the upgrade command And once it is done, we'll move forward to the next step of this lab. So just come to the lab instruction again and run the last update command over there. Now just wait for some time and move to the lab instruction and check the score for this particular task. Come back here and check the score. And the next step is that we have to create the form parser processor. So how we'll create? We'll navigate to the document AI page and just create a form parser processor. So don't worry, everything will be covered in this video. Just minimize the cloud shell and on the search box just type document AI and just select this one and wait for it to get opened. Now here you have to just click on explore processor. Just click on the explore processor option. Just click on it. Now come down to the specialized processor section. Just come down and here you can see these things we have to do. Now here you can see it's invoice parser, sorry invoice parser it is. So you have to just select this name and create it. Now the processor is successfully created. We'll move forward to the next step. What is the next step? Let's explore it together. And meanwhile, in case you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do subscribe it and like the video. Now wait for at least 20 seconds and then move to the lab instruction. And let's check the score for this particular task and see whether we are getting score or not. Okay, so let's move to the lab instructions. Now 
So here you can see we got the score and now we'll run this command to just download some sample documents. So just hit enter and remove this unwanted call out and just run it. Now wait for this to get completed. Now this is successfully done and the form and PDF files have been successfully uploaded over our cloud storage bucket. Now we have to just come down to the next step let me show you which step we have to do this we have to create extraction.py file so just copy the file name copy the file name and on the cloud shell you have to just type nano and paste the name and hit enter now you have to just first of all you need to he see here we have to modify the contents so just open the online notepad you can use any personal notepad also and first of all paste it now here what things we have to update First thing we have to update the project ID. It is available over here. Update it carefully. The next step is the location. So basically it is present in the processor section only. For this task we have US. So how you can view it come over here. First of all you can see here this is the processor ID and here you can see the region is US in my case. If it shows EU you have to update it like this. So carefully just update the form parser ID. All things are done. Okay. All things are done over here. Now what you need to do. You have to just copy entire content. Paste over here. And to save the file you have to use control X, Y and then hit enter. What I did. Control X, Y and then hit enter. Now we have to run the python extractor py and hit enter. It will take some time and once it's done we will be done with the lab. Basically, it will take some time for the score to get updated. And I repeat, if you're new to this channel and want to complete skill badges, lab free courses, all things are available on the channel. Just check the description box of this video. Check the playlist and do like the video and subscribe to the channel, guys. Now, just wait for it to get completed. Come back again to the lab instruction and check the score for this particular task. And many of you are asking how to enable the check my progress bar. You can just check the video description. And that's how we have completed this particular task.